Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and a massive thank you to Huawei who have sent out the Mate 20 Lite here. So let's get it unboxed and give my first impressions. So as you can see on the box in very clean, clear packaging as always, just the name and the logos that we see. On the side we do have the name as well in this nice champagne gold colour. And on the back we don't have much information at all. So I do have my knife here, I'm just going to cut through these bits of tape. So taking off our lid, you're going to see our device inside. So what I'm going to do is just grab our device here. I'm going to sit that to the side and let's see what else is in the box. Please also note this is a review model. So in my model, I'm not going to get every single thing that you're going to get in yours. So underneath, we have a European plug. Again, here in the UK, you will receive a three pin plug. You will have a USB to USB-C here for syncing and charging your device. And underneath here, you have some headphones to test and try there. Inside the box, you're going to find a SIM tool so to put your SIM card in and out and also a screen protector which is going to be good come in handy to use which I'll put on as well. You'll also receive retail information inside there. So taking a look at our device here first of all at the top you've got two cameras here at the top and a very nice large display turning it around. You then have two cameras on the rear so this device has four cameras and it's all AI as well built in to capture impressive images with thanks of AI technology. You also have a fingerprint sensor on the rear as well it does have face unlock so let's power this on and quickly fly through the setup process so the display is a 6.3 inch display remember always diagonal it's an FHD plus display and it's Huawei's full view display and it's a 2.0 series so going through the setup is going to be simple and very quick one thing I do like to see down here at the bottom you do have the ability then to use magnifier or font size I'm going to jump in and use the font size to make it really nice and big for me to read which is great to see as you can see we do have a notch there that does hold the cameras but it's not too big which is nice to see but with this great big display it's easy and simple to use so english next we have our t's and c's that we have to agree to go down to the bottom i have read agree so it says insert sim i'm actually going to skip this we'll insert one shortly connect your wi-fi network here so simply just find your wi-fi network then it's going to ask you to sign into a google account for all your apps movies tv shows games and music so simply just sign in to that now then it's going to ask you what services you want to use from google go through simply just choose the ones you want to use it's best for you then set up google assistant i'm going to skip this for a moment it's a bit boring just listening to this and if you have huawei's id here this is where you're going to sign in here you can use cloud services if you want to use cloud services so i'm going to skip at the moment so device protection so you have set fingerprint sensor set face unlock or set password so to start off with we're going to set face unlock so now it's going to ask us to choose a pin as well just as a backup then it's telling you to look at your device this should work with my site because it is face unlock and with four cameras it offers a great feature of 360 degree unlocking system so you pull it out of your pocket it will unlock so we'll be testing that out as well so looking straight at the device it's a face unlock set which is great you have terms and conditions again so enhanced services again agreements that you have to go through and agree to and we want to do that user experience improvement program again I will sign up to later. The so data input, so you could add data from a other device here if you so wish to. So we're all finished, all set up to go with EMUI 8.2 and running Android 8.1. Full 6.3 inch display, a full view 2.0 display from Huawei, which is really nice to see, very vibrant and very bright. Coming around to the back, you have also got a beautiful color as well there, and just showing you where you can insert your SIM card and an SD card. So SD card wise, you can do up to 256 gigabytes. In Internal storage is 64 gigabytes, which is really good to see. This device is all about AI as well, right through the system in the cameras, in the processor. You even have AI game suites as well available. You have the AI unlock feature, the full 360 degree face unlock, which is really good to see. The system flies through so quick as well with this processor, which is a brand new chip from Huawei, which is the Kirin 710 chip. And this is an optical processor with four cores running at 2.2 gigahertz and four running at 1.7 gigahertz. Inside here, there is four gigabytes of RAM as well. The phone should last you all day with a massive 3,750 million hour battery. So taking a look around our device, coming around to the bottom here, you've got your speaker grill, you've got your 3.5 headphone jack, you've got a USB-C there for fast charging, which is gonna be really good as well. Coming up the side here, we do have our power button and volume controls, which is really nice. I do love this sapphire blue. So coming around to the back, this is where we're gonna talk about the cameras. One is a 20 megapixel RGB camera, and one is a two megapixel depth camera. 
So with this, you'd be able to master AI photography, bokeh effect, AI assisted composition as well, and loads of other great features that we know from Huawei's camera system. Coming around to the front is a 24 megapixel camera and a two megapixel camera. So the 24 megapixel is an RGB and the two megapixel is a depth camera. Again, get to do great selfie modes and they've got one great thing called Q emojis. So we're gonna enable these and we can have a quick look at the camera system here. So once all set up here, you've got loads of different options that we're known to, 22 different scene recognitions and over 500 different categories, which is gonna be great. So here is our Q emojis here, a very vibrant fish. You've got puffer fish, you've got husky, which is kind of cool. We've got a little kitten or a little dog. I'm not too sure what that one is. We've got a bunny rabbit, we've got a robot, which is kind of cool and coming across and then there is more in there as well so coming out of that so you have your camera system and that's the main feature inside here is about the cameras and using ai technology throughout the device and i can't wait to really test that out so now the device is all set up and ready to go i'm going to actually put in my sim card here and make this my daily driver so i can really get to know this device and see how well it works i do like the screen the notch doesn't bother me now i've moved away from that notch phase the power and the performance inside here should be quite impressive so if you want to get your hands on this device it is actually available now in the uk so it is available through carphone warehouse and vodafone uk and is also available on ee in october here in the uk on pay as you go it's costing 379 pounds which is a mid-range price and we'll see if it lives up to that price range and the performance as well so please watch out for loads of videos to come from me if you have any questions or queries drop a comment down below please drop a like on the video as it does help if you're new to the channel hit subscribe to stay updated with all our latest videos from me ricky i'll see you very soon i hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions of the huawei mate 20 lite bye for now